in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we celebrate the great feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. A symbol of our redemption, a symbol of our hope. And the cross is a symbol of God's greatest love for humanity, where His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, sacrificed His life to save, to redeem the whole world. So this cross always stands in front of us as a symbol of redemption, a symbol of hope, at the same time, a symbol of love, forgiveness, and compassion. So we all bear the cross we have on our, in our houses, we hang the cross, in our car or wherever we are. It reminds us of great protection, great assistance of God in time of trouble and sufferings. And this cross also reminds us that there is a victory over suffering and pain. So as we celebrate this great feast of the exaltation of the cross, let us draw the strength from the cross so that in our day-to-day -day life, we will draw the life from the cross to overcome the struggles, the pain, and to live a life with gratitude, to help others, or to lift others with our words of encouragement, compassion, and forgiveness. And today we offer this Mass for the intentions of Jos Marcus, bringing together all our intentions before the Lord. Let us pause for a while and ask the Lord pardon and forgiveness for all the shortcomings. We say together, I confess. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and my God, sisters, may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for a great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, Lord Jesus Christ, Ali Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Our mercy. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God, the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant we pray that we, who have known his mystery on earth, may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Numbers. On the way through the wilderness, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this, God sent fiery serpents among the people. Their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people, and the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent and put it on a standard. If anyone is bitten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a standard. And if anyone was bitten by a serpent, he looked at the bronze serpent and lived. The word of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Give heed, my people, to my teaching. Turn your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable and reveal hidden lessons of the past. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. When he slew them, then they would seek him, return and seek him in earnest. They would remember that God was their rock, God the Most High, their Redeemer. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Yet, he who is full of compassion forgave their sin and spared them. So often he held back his anger when he might have stirred up his rage. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. But the words they spoke were mere flattery. They lied to him with their lips, for their hearts were not truly with him. They were not faithful to his covenant. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. The state of Jesus Christ was divine, yet he did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave and became as men are. And being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on the cross. But God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in the heavens, on earth, and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus, and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And the Son of Man must be lifted up 
as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offenses of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Jesus Christ. 
Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adults, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highways. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts be prayed by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us by your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, a spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy One reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. <laughs>